Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna jump right in. Today I am doing a tonalism, tonalist style painting, and I'm doing it on a uh, 10 by 8 panel. This is a panel that I have gessoed, acrylic gesso, mixed with Payne's Gray. And now I am mixing up some dark green, just a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue, and I'm painting in oil and burnt umber and a touch of deep yellow to kind of make like a dark green-ish color. And I'm just going to start by scrubbing it in. Now this panel is uh, not a very smooth panel. It's smoother, though, than, say, a... Uh, than most canvas, but it's not a very smooth panel, I would say. I'm just gonna get a basic kind of scene going with some trees, horizon line. I'm just scrubbing kind of some basic trees. They don't even have to look like trees, just some shapes that could maybe be trees. And then a little bit of ground. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap here for maybe some type of water. I'm trying to get a little greener. Now I'm using a one inch brush. I'm just keeping this kind of going a little bit lighter as I go forward, and a little bit more texture. And the idea with this uh, this panel having the blue in it is it allows for some of that uh, just dark color to kind of come through. If I go on the greens, the blues kind of just hit naturally on it, and you can do any any dark color. You could do like a black. You could do um, just a neutral gray. I just kind of like the blue because I paint mostly dark, uh, dark greens, and dark grays, and that blue just kind of gives it a, a cool feel. And I use warm colors on it, so it kind of keeps the contrast. I don't know if there's anything to it. That's just kind of what I do. Basic shape, but we're just scrubbing in just some basic shapes real quick. Perfect, I like that. It's good vibes. All right, now let's kind of get a sky going, and we're just gonna maybe keep this color, but make it a lot, a lot, a lot lighter. Get kind of like some white now. Some white. I'm gonna make this kind of greenish, grayish tone. And the one inch brush I'm using that, so pretty tough bristles. Oh, yeah, I like that already. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that I wanted it to necessarily, it just kind of does have tough bristles from, uh, from me not necessarily taking good care of my brushes. I don't like to use too much uh, cleaners or anything. And right now is where the, where the blues kind of peeking through really helps.
just trying to get some different tones in the skies too. I want some a little bit light, a little bit dark. I don't want all to be the same. I'm just painting right here on, on this table too. So I might slide around a little bit, that's okay. Now when you get near the trees, feel free to kind of like touch the trees a little bit. This adds a little bit of like a little bit of like a soft edge around the trees as trees which makes the leaves look a little more uh, realistic if you will yeah and then i even like to, to touch it in a few spots to kind of allow like look make it look like there's a little bit of a light kind of peeking through some darker tone in the sky. I want some kind of like gray. A little darker than that. You can probably hear my kids playing. Dad duty today. Playing a little bit while dad does some art for a few minutes. And the cool thing about this fast and loose style is you can whip out a painting pretty quick and it looks pretty cool, pretty nice. You can see I'm not really cleaning my brush or wiping it off with anything. I'm just kind of getting some tones in. Some, some lighter color. Some white. Introduce uh, maybe a hint of yellow. And maybe a hint of red. Whoops, uh, not a hint. Not a hint whatsoever. Mm. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, not too orange. Tone it down into some brown. I'm just trying to find the color that I'm looking for. Maybe a purplish orange. For sure, but yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of something. A little bit of a reddish thing going on. It's not terrible. I don't really love it though. Alright, now I'm gonna wipe off my brush. the color 
that I was looking for. You know, when you just kind of find that color and it's there and you're like, that's it. No, nope, that was the color. I didn't want that red color, I just wanted that. That color right there. That is the color. Yes. sky. Maybe the water is going kind of a little bit like off. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of feels feels right a little bit. Feels good. You can just play with it all day and it just not really do much of anything. Hmm. Well, let's see, almost done here. Play with it and play with it and play with it. And I'm just kind of messing up, but you know it needs to be kind of loose and brush. Alright, I'm gonna say that's done. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Hope this was fun. If you painted along, I'd love to see. Um, so you can reach out to me on Instagram or whatever. But uh, yeah, thanks for your time.